Welcome back to another episode of Those Car Dudes, where today we're going to be showing you how to roll your guards. Sweet, so recently I just bought myself some new wheels with some tyres and uh, yeah, we took it out for a bit of a drive the other night, didn't we Nathan? We did. To see just uh, what these semi slicks are made of, but uh, yeah, we weren't really going for it too much because we were driving down the road and you know, we realised real quite quickly, quite quickly that um, it was quite, it was rubbing in the front. Just and a little bit. Yeah. Not too major. So pretty much what we're going to do now today or tonight is that we're going to be rolling those guards and um, with one of these. Yeah, just to tuck it in, and so yeah, that will give it a bit more clearance so that you can chuck it in. <laughs> tuck it in so you can chuck it in. Tuck it in so you can chuck it in. I like that. Yeah. We should use that. It is what it is. Let's do it. <laughs> what you got there, JD? Got a stance roller, bro. So basically, once your car is in the air on some jack stands and your wheels off, you just want to start adjusting the guard roller to fit under your guard. Fit your knee, man! To fit, fit your, your knee. knee! Fit your knee! Sweet, so once it's on the car, or on the hub, you get these little washers with the uh, guard roller. <laughs> yeah, you just chuck them on, and then you pretty much just use your wheel nuts. These nuts. To, um... Tighten, tighten it onto the hub securely. It's good. Tell me something good. Do, 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 do. So I'm not going to make it tight, tight. I'm just going to make it finger tight. Alright. We noticed to do the guard roller, the brake caliper was going to be in the way. So we're going to take that off. To do that, it's just two bolts behind the caliper, and if you have changed brakes before, it's pretty simple, but um, you just want to tie and find the two big bolts that are going through the brake caliper and to the hub. You just want to undo those, and it should pop right off. Just to clarify, this bolt here, going through the hub and the caliper, and the same on the top here. Those two, the caliper will come off. <sighs> come on, Nathan. Oh, it's tough. Come on, bro. Oh, got it. Mind over matter, right? Mind over matter. Mind over matter. So we got the caliper off. We took those two big bolts out and also a little bracket that held the brake line and that got it off. So now what we're going to do is we are going to uh, pull this plastic inner guard out because it's just being an absolute goose flopping around in there. It's not connected properly and it's in our way. So we're going to take that out so we can roll the guards well and then... Um, Never we'll put get... it back ever again. What are you doing with your Nothing, life? Bro, don't worry. What are you doing with your life, bro? <laughs> Everything's corroded! This is horrible! Where did I... Bro. <laughs> Major thing. Do you have like a... Is that snips or something, bro? Yeah, you have a massive toolbox, bro, but you don't have any tools on it, bro. Second draw, bro. Second draw. Who cable tied this thing in here, bro? Who did a manual conversion on this thing? Seriously? Wasn't me. Definitely wasn't me. If it wasn't, you can't even get an LSD for your freaking car. <laughs> <laughs> all right, settle down. All right, I'm sorting it. I'm so I'm trying anyway. Yeah. Who did you talk to in the last hour about your LSD? <laughs> in the last week, huh? <laughs> Stupid thing, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, once you've got the brake caliper off, and once you've got your um, stupid under freaking thing off, you can start to roll, to roll your guards, which is cool. Um, but yeah, pretty much what we're going to do now, we're going to go and heat it up with this heat gun. And um, yeah, the whole idea is, is for this arm to actually just keep pressure on the, on the guard. It's, the whole idea for this arm is to actually just kind of push it out using the thread on this arm. Um, so yeah, pretty much I'm going to start with that wheel being like nice and flat, as flat as we can. And then um, obviously the, the more 
tighter and the more it kind of bends on that we're going to go I guess to a next level and kind of increase that angle the more and more we, we do it so yeah in theory it should just tuck the guard and give us the clearance that we need for that hello flush hello flush look Nathan hello Cool, so now we've heated it up quite a bit, it's quite warm, um, but yeah, pretty much now I'm going to get Nathan over here to go and give me a hand with um, heating it up, so we're just going to keep that, um, keep that motion going, uh, nice and kind of consistently without actually like, heating up a majority of the pain more than, uh, more than the rest, so yeah, we're just want to keep that going, and then while he does that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start putting pressure to it and start, start rolling it, so yeah, we're just going to heat it up a little bit more and then we'll go ahead and do that. Sweet, so what I'm doing now is that um, I'm just kind of feeling it with my left hand and um, yeah, just kind of keep on, um, I'm going to keep turning it with my right hand um, just to keep that pressure onto the guard. So I'm kind of feeling it with my right, with my left hand, just kind of feeling it how, how, how tight it is and then um, yeah, just when it gets started getting loose and starts getting to be a bit more free flow, I'm going to go ahead and just increase that a bit more with my, with my right, sorry, it's the other way. There we go. Yeah. So pretty much now we can go ahead and just increase the angle of that wheel just to its fullest because I think we're now at that point where we can actually start yeah just kind of doing that final tuck so it's good. Go ahead and tighten that up. Cool so just a reminder just to make sure that you keep the fender hot just so it uh, stops the paint from actually chipping away because you're, put, you're putting quite a bit of push on it so um, yeah, I mean. <laughs> Basically what he's trying to say is drop it like it's hot. What, per guard? Per guard. That's hectic. 50 New Zealand dollars. How do. much are one of those things? I don't know. Because I'm pretty sure I saw one on Trade Me for like 180 bucks or something. But do you want to know, do you want to know something cool, Nathan? What's that? Oh, those cartridge tip for you, bro. You ready? Yeah, bro. Tell me. Hit it. Make friends in the right places who have the right things. Mm. So that when you need things, good things are there to have. Is that why you always ask me for stuff? We're done, bro. <laughs> We're done. Next side. Roll your guards by yourself. <laughs> Who's gonna do the heat gun now, huh? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go ahead now and put the brake caliper back on and um, get that under tray back on as well. Down on this side, on to the next one. So JD managed to roll or tuck this one. Done a pretty good job. Now we're just putting the wheels back on. The wheels are on. The guards have been tucked and hopefully, I don't think it's gonna rub now, bro. You got quite a bit of clearance there. Oh, such a nice seat. It's the back seat out of an E36. M3. Nothing quite like it. I don't know if it's M3, I doubt it. Doesn't have the, the stripes. Pretty much an M3. Oh, no, it's, this isn't my car, it's out of, this was out of another E36. Anyway guys, that's how we do it. Guards are rolled, I'm stoked. Front ones are not gonna rub anymore, hopefully. True. We're about to take it out for a drive, aren't we, Nathan? Yeah, we're about to see, but we're 99% sure that there's plenty of clearance there. No camber in a bit um, when you're driving along the road and there's bumps and stuff. So we reckon they're sweet. So that's basically the basics. Okay. If you've got any questions on that or any tips, some things that maybe we didn't share to help others, chuck it down in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. We had a fun night, Nathan. We did, we did. Good. A little we bit did. frustrated. A few little things here and there, brake caliper had to come off, plastic guard was flapping around like a seal on a hot beach. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, share, do what you need to do. Chuck a comment, send us some photos on Facebook. Check us out on Facebook. We're at um, Facebook. Uh... <laughs>
<laughs> just just type in those car dudes on Facebook, you'll find us. Sorry, I had a mental blank there. I was thinking about my car. Anyway, uh, <laughs> have a great day, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Think about his LSD. That's what you're thinking. I wish about. I had an LSD. Someone <laughs> send me an LSD. Yeah, how long do I have to hold up the peace symbol? Peace out. Peace out. <laughs>